again at uh, Riverton with my neighbor and sponsor, official sponsor, Walleye Jim, James Todd Auctions. Throw that in there again. Uh, this time we decided to uh, bring out the machines. I brought the old 570. Walleye Jim's got his Ranger. And we uh, ventured out a little deeper than last time. We're about probably another oh half a kilometer kilometer out past further than we were last time and we're a little deeper water we're in 15 feet of water it is a gorgeous day and we got uh good old ron joining us today have you remember him from uh the holy land video last year i went with him and we had one hell of a day up at uh, north point of hecla so hopefully he brings us some luck today i know walleye jim don't need it but i do <laughs> So let's have a good day. Let's have a day. Let's just have a day. That's all I care about. Let's have a day. had a miss a swing and a miss yep. as the expert guide says a swing and a miss see him there that's that's a fish here yeah just sitting see there him? see him i do i do see him and he, he nibbled you oh he bit it hard yeah, see him. he's tracing it down eh yeah yeah see yeah it? see it look yeah Coming up, coming up, he's on it. Shake it, jiggle, make it nervous. And gone. And gone. He's underneath. Underneath which one, left or right? Left. Left. Ooh, here comes something coming in. Yeah. Right through. Fuck. He's coming over here now. Jesus. Okay. It's a good sign. Right? Yeah. And there he is, coming back to the other one. Oh, there he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> Here he comes. He's gonna take it this time. Here he comes. Come on. I'm gonna try something different. Well, that took a few minutes. It marked up on the sonar. And we got a nice green back. Holy shit, eh? Yeah. On the uh, Rapella uh, rattle crank something or other bait. 
Uh, oh. Richard, you're not keeping the... No. Put, put it back then. Are you sure? Yeah. I'll take them. You'll take them? Oh, yeah. Okay. You guys are throwing them back? Well, Jim isn't. Jim will just keep what he catches. Yeah. Okay, Ron. Ron. You are? Okay. That's a pretty nice one. Well, it looks like Walleye Jim is using that technology of the live scope because he's drilled a hole about 30 feet west and he probably seen some action there using his live scope so let's see how he does oh well like Jim's got some sausage on the go here sausage. those are good And what do you got on there? Just a. I got a live target. Oh, that's a live target. Yeah. Man, there's another fish on the bottom there, Jim. Look. Yeah. That's that gurgly thing you were talking about. Still there? See how long it is? Oh, hang on a second. Oh God, is it ever long? Oh yeah. Now he's going back this way. Holy crap. Got him? Got him. <laughs> Let me know if you need a hand. Oh. Nice one, Jim. There we go. Look at that beauty. 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 Nice job. <laughs> that was beauty. Good job. Or a half inch longer you'd be going back <laughs> <laughs> but that's dinner that's dinner okay nice one Jim nice one, yeah 19 now that's the way we do it up here in the wild north of Netley I tell you good job Jim good job oh, shit got off. that was a pike was it yeah, you can okay. tell by the okay. by the head shake. Oh, exciting! <laughs> All right, so it's slowed down here a little bit, I'd say, but it's still an unbelievably beautiful day. It's at a perfect temperature where the snow is not melting and getting slushy, but I don't even got a coat on. You know, that's the beauty of it. We'll keep at her. We'll keep at her. Anyways, hey guys, we're here up at the Wild North of Netley, and we have special guests here today, David and his daughter Stephanie. Uh, how did you? How did? How did we meet up today? Tell us how we met up today. Well, we pulled up here about uh, 45 minutes ago and set up just across 
the way here at 50 yards. Okay. Saw old uh, Blair here. Had uh, <laughs> didn't know it was Blair until he saw his uh, drone flying around. And you saw the 570. And I saw here. the 570, and I says, "Hey, that's got to be a Wild Norton Netley guy." <laughs> well, I'm glad you so, guys uh, came over. My partner, she came over and introduced herself, and yeah, told me I should come over here for a yeah my YouTube for, premiere. Yeah, that's it. That's it. This could be the start of something big. Who knows? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so and you guys always fish lots, or? Uh, me more than Steph. Yep. Steph's uh, just been out with us a couple times this year. She yeah. caught her first actually ice fish yeah. over at the, we are at CIL a couple three weeks ago. Okay, okay. A lot she, of people there too, I guess. Yeah, yeah she caught uh, two sauger and a nice uh, tulipy or a white fish or yeah. gold eye or whatever it was. I don't even know what it was. but You would have thought I caught a big boy, but yeah. it was just a little was one. I was very little, excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she was, uh, we've been out here probably six times okay. in total this year. Good. We, one, one day we got three Three nice uh, 20 inch or just under 20 inch keepers and uh, it's great what they're doing this year here the Sandy Bar Fishing Club uh -huh. is who's clearing these roads for us and for anybody really like last week and I don't know if you noticed but I see like Civics and Corollas out here mm -hmm. which is great to you know for other people that can't come out here they don't right. have a old 570 or a Ranger exactly. and uh, I think it's great there's a lot of people here but it's spread out it's nice to spread out as a matter of fact, the Sandy Bar Fishing Club tomorrow is putting on a uh, fish fry for Shalom Mission. For the homeless, yeah. For the homeless, I yeah. I saw that, yeah. Yeah, so, they're, uh, so it's good on them for doing that. If I have any information wrong, I apologize now. I'm pretty sure it's Sandy Bar Fishing Club. And I'm pretty sure the fish fry is tomorrow. And I'm pretty sure it's for Shalom Mission. So <laughs> <laughs> if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Well. But they're doing good things, that's for sure. And oh, I yeah. love coming out here. It's a little bit more of a drive it's you know it's about hour and a half for us yeah yeah about the same for us yeah. by the time you get in and out yeah it's yeah about an hour and a half and yeah we enjoy coming out here for sure and like you say road access is perfect even yeah you know yeah. we don't have a truck we what, a what we were think what we did while we brought the machines today is because we wanted to go deeper we didn't know how much snow the area got from the other day but we wanted to go deeper because uh my friend Bo. His friends were out here on the Monday after the Sunday that we were out here, and you as, as well. They caught 60 fish wow. in 17 feet of water. Wow. So they they showed me a map on their phone, and they were somewhere out here, somewhere Probably straight out, out the road in 17 feet of water, and they caught 60 fish. So that's why we decided let's you know bring the machines and let's try and go deeper. Right now, like I don't you know it changes daily, right? Like there's no secret to fishing this water. You just got to hope that they're coming by that day and, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and hopefully that you can catch something. For sure. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for stopping by. It was a great pleasure to meet you. Thank nice you for watching. Too. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I really all, appreciate it. It makes me videos. feel good that someone actually gets something. I, you know, I originally started making videos for my friends because we would go on a fishing trip. Then I'm going to go home, edit. The editing is what I like. So I would go home, edit it, take my time and blah, blah, blah. And then burn DVD copies and just give it to them. Oh, yeah. And then... Teresa Tilo says, "Why don't you just put it on YouTube? Then you don't have to make this, keep burning this, and delivering them and mailing them." <laughs> hey, good idea! And then it took off from there. So, I just want to say, right there is David and Stephanie, and I didn't get the other person's name. Sorry. And they just caught a nice walleye there, and look at that, Jonesers immediately right beside him. Man, can't get away from those Joneses, I tell ya. Well, we're getting ready to... Oh, I see Ron's already packed it in here. We're getting ready to pack it in. Ron, what do you think about today? Interesting. First time out here? Yeah. Kind of nice. Yeah. Easy to get to. No fish? Well, a few bites. Yeah. One, one whatever bit me off. But yeah, that was okay. a big pike, probably. Yeah. But sure, uh, What a beautiful day. Yeah, perfect day. Mm -hmm. Perfect day. All right, Ron. All right, sir. Thanks for coming along. For I sure. appreciate you taking me. Yeah, no problem. It was nice. No problem. Hopefully they do this next year again with the road, and then uh, it'll be great. We got to get out to uh, his cabin. He's got a cabin in Whiteshell this summer. We're going to get out there to make a video out there one day. Big White or Brereton Lake? Big White, Brereton. Get some crappy. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. As long as you got beard, I'll, it doesn't matter. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not a problem there. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll let Jim. What do, you, what do you think about today? 
been a great day. Yeah. And I got one more stop after here. Where to? Safeway. I'm going to buy some fish. <laughs> oh, you are taking it home a good meal, that's for sure. You are taking home a good meal today. But, good uh, day. Yeah, yeah, perfect day. It doesn't matter. We had a day. Like I say, it doesn't matter. I finally caught a walleye. <laughs> First thing this morning. But uh, I don't care. Just being out here, perfect day, perfect conditions. No freaking wind. That is the key in my books. No wind, not battling conditions. Perfect. This could be uh, me and Walleye Jim's last trip of the year. You never know. But anyways, this summer, we're going to get up to the Narrows. He's got a cabin up at the Narrows. So there's four weeks out of the year where we can catch some nice greenbacks, eh? Yeah. Okay, so that's what we're going to see. So, hang on. So, look forward to that, folks, this summer for sure. Okay, so we are going to let... Well, thanks again to David and Stephanie for coming over for a visit. That was great. And I think I'll let them close out the show today. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here this beautiful day in Riverton. And thanks for watching The Wild North in Etley. Thanks for joining us on Wild North and Etley. No, you gotta say thanks for watching okay. the Wild North and Etley. Go. Okay. And thanks for watching Wild North and Etley. Hang on, the Wild North and Etley. Okay. Yeah. And I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> now I got a blooper reel. Cool. And thanks for watching the Wild North of Netley. Yeah. <laughs>